Hello everyone, welcome, welcome to our webinar. Uh, I'm very happy to see you, very glad all of you could join us today. Uh, that's a pleasure of mine to, uh, to uh, show you, introduce you to what exciting uh, news we have for you. Uh, this will be for sure, uh, uh, in my opinion, a game changer of what you can do and what are your abilities as the users of uh, 3D technologies. It doesn't matter if you're just starting and you want to implement that in your businesses or you are experienced with uh, with our scanners and you want to add something, uh, something fast, something new. Uh, something modern uh, to your equipment. Uh, my name is Natalia Skornicka. Uh, I'm a product manager at SmartTech 3D uh, company. Uh, uh, also here with me are uh, my friends who will be uh, who will be helping with the presentation, the today's presentation. Uh, we have uh, Christopher Wilczewski, uh, our partner, director of US sales and the support. Uh, he will be talking you, uh, he will be telling a little bit more about uh, what is the news, uh, what are the abilities of it in the theoretical part. And then we have a short presentation, the live presentation that our technical support engineer, uh, Paweł Cieśnik, will be presenting today for you. Uh, Hello, so, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much again for joining. And I think that we can start already. So, uh, Christopher, I will give the floor to you. Uh, so let, let's start. Thank you so much, Natalia. As mentioned, I'm Chris Wolcheski, and uh, I am the Director of Sales and Support for the U.S. Uh, I wanted to start off with a little intro to the company as well for anyone who's not familiar with Smart Tech. Uh, Smart Tech has been designing and producing 3D structured light uh, optical scanners for over 20 years, uh, focusing on increasing value to our customers worldwide and um, in both the upfront costs and capabilities of the products. Uh, the entire offering is certified accuracy and used in a wide range of markets, including industrial design and archaeology uh, to aerospace and defense. So a long history of capabilities and um, and offering a wide range of, of uh, uh, products. So uh, Smart Tech is led by its board of directors, including our technical advisor, Professor Malgorzata Kujawinska. She is well-respected figure in optics and optical metrology, often taking a hands-on role with the engineering team. We have Anna Garbaska, Garbaska, Garbarska, my apologies. Uh, she's the managing director and the company founder. And we also have Chris Gabarski rounding out the board uh, as the CEO and his background in metrology. Uh, as mentioned, there's a wide range of customers that we support, uh, including everything from 3D re reproductions in visual, uh, visual effects, in museums, in universities, to design and quality in defense, automotive, and aerospace industries as well. You probably recognize a number of those uh, those organizations, and we continue to grow that. We have a really wide range of products, um, really being able to fill just about any requirement our customers need in the scanning and capturing space, in that 3D uh, capture space. So on the, uh, the start of it, we have our Micron 3D uh, stereo. That's the green stereo scanner, and it goes all the way up to 20 megapixel. Uh, as an option, which is the highest uh, resolution capture device on the market today. And it uh, offers a really high resolution as well as a high accuracy as well. So uh, organizations that need a lot of detail, a lot of fine detail um, in their captures can be assured that they're going to be able to capture all of that with the Micron 3D. Today, we're going to be talking about our new device, the SmartTech 3D On, which is now a stereo entry level uh, structured light scanner and uh, and offers a, a wide price range and entry level so many people can get into that uh, advanced optics of having that stereo capture capabilities. Uh, we also have the Smart Tech 3D ro robotic robotized um, so it can be put on that robot arm. Uh, one of our big partners in that is KUKA right now but we 
have set it up so that it can be used on a number of different arms as well. And uh, it allows it to be able to capture uh, in many different applications, especially in the manufacturing space and on a manufacturing floor, where you may need to capture multiple sides of an object very quickly and bring that in. Uh, one of the new, uh, newer additions to Smart Tech's lineup kind of goes outside the normal fold is the Smart Tech 3D pho uh, photogrammetry. And this is designed, and it's, it's really uh, impressive and um, and offers an ability to connect together multiple scans over a long range without having to scan something in between. So it allows you to connect together scans from say the front of a vehicle to the back of a vehicle without having to scan the whole side of the car um, or bus in order to put those two together in geometric space. Uh, we have the Micron 3D color and the 3D color stereo. So the original color is gonna be uh, end of life at the end of the year end of 2023 with the stereo taking its place again offering that advanced stereo optics uh, to be able to capture the additional details and uh, greater accuracy with the smart tech 3d medical device rounding out our our product line uh, that is a really fast scanner specifically designed to be combined with multiple scanners to grab uh, multiple angles all at once and the piece de resistance today is the SmartTech 3D on. So uh, this scanner offers uh, not only a high level of accuracy uh, at 50 to 80 microns, uh, but is also very compact and portable, I believe uh, five kilograms, so a little over 10 pounds for the rest of us in the US. Um, and uh, it's, it's able to very, very quickly uh, capture that data and move on. So it is combinable with uh, with the rotary stage as well. As you can see that behind me, place the object, we'll see that in the demonstration, it capturing with that rotary stage. You can capture multiple angles very quickly um, with the new SmartTech 3D on. Uh, these applications range from that, that 3D visual aspect for VFX and museums and university all the way to reverse engineering and quality um, quality control applications. So anyone in that uh, education space all the way into industry and then 3D printing, quality, manufacturing uh, can find some real value in the device. And there's also multiple uh, options within it. So depending on your application and what you're focusing on in your organization, uh, it ranges from a two, a five, and a 12 megapixel sensor, um, as well as multiple different fields of view. So how much you can capture in a single scan um, combined with how much resolution you get from that, that, that capture as well. Um, and we're happy to schedule follow-on appointments to discuss what your applications are, how are you using it to make sure that we pair together the right specs and the right options uh, to provide a fully featured package uh, that really uh, delivers exactly what you're looking for to accommodate whatever it is you're doing in your organization. We have a couple of short videos here. We'll get started. Uh, this is that new, you can kind of take a look at it, get a better view from some multiple angles. And the, the addition of the stereo is really advantageous. So we've got that twin detector on the left and right hand side with this projector in the center. As mentioned, it is a certified device. So you can see how quickly that captures in about a second uh, per position and how much detail that provides on the scans we can see right there as well. Nice close up of that front lens set. This is our pre video. And then next, going alongside with the, the new on is our quality station as well. Um, so this is the next step up from the, from the on, has the stereo scanners, uh, but it's all paired together with this pan and tilt, uh, the rotate and tilt stage. 
So you can put those parts in there and really capture every different angle of a part, uh, which I have, pardon me for just a moment. This was a turbine, I made a 3D print of it, but it came really instrumental myself being able to capture the geometry inside this little space right here. So we can actually then pivot, get all the angles that we need, including down in, all in one shot, and, uh, and be able to capture that and put it together um, for the client. So you can see not only to get at the top, but because it can tilt in the way that it does, you can actually get much, if not all of the bottom side that you would normally have to either reposition your part if you're on a turntable or uh, reposition your scanner. And this is going through some of the, uh, the software capabilities as well that are offered. So you can quickly inside of the Smart Tech software and Pavel will be going through that in just a little bit, some of the capabilities of the software, which is really impressive and amazing um, for the included software with our with all of our scanners. And with that, I will go ahead and pass it over to Pavel to go over in, in real time. Thank you very much, Chris. Uh, so here we have the start of today's meeting. This is our, our Smart Tech On. The usage of this scanner as uh, is for all our scanners is extremely simple. Uh, so in the setup for our scanner today is obviously the scanner on the tripod, our rotary stage, and the heart of our product, our uh, software 3D measure. And the usage of our scanner is extremely easy and intuitive. First, we have to turn off this, uh, connect the uh, scanner to the power supply, then we turn it on, and after that, the scanner is basically ready to work. We don't have to calibrate anything, we don't have to uh, change anything. All we need to do is turn it on, initialize it, and after that, we can make a scan. So, we firstly, we choose the single scan option. Press start in measure. Right now, the scanner project the structural light from the projector in the middle, directly on the object. The stripes are dis disturbed on the surface of the object. The distribution is absorbed by the camera, and then software on, the, on my computer calculate the position of each point from our scan. And after that, we have the results. So, after approximately 10 seconds, we have the whole information about the surface of this uh, carved wooden uh, part. We have the information about the surface and what is very important, we also have the information about the color of the object. So each point over here has the information about this position in the, uh, uh, the XYZ coordination and also have his own RGB code so uh, we can receive the information about the color of the object. Uh, the another important uh, part of our setup, which uh, Chris already sold, is rotary table. This allows us to make rotary scans so that are already pre-aligned, so we don't have to move the object by hand after each scan, but we'll go to that later. Uh, we also have a uh, possibility to make a scan with markers uh, for pre-align and geometry align scans. But right now I want to focus on part of our software, which is automation. So automation basically allow us to queue commands from uh, to our software to uh, further simplify the whole process of the scanning. Normally, we, we, after the scanning, we have to align the scans, then clean it. After that, we export, we transform the received data to the triangle mesh, and after that, we can also apply texture to create to create that triangle mesh. But with automation, all those processes are made in queue automatically. So previous, uh, previous uh, earlier, I made the whole automatization. So first, 
and part of this optimization is rotary stage measurement. After that, uh, the program will remove additional points. After that, we will have al uh, aligned the scans. And finally, the software will automatically create the triangle mesh, so the polygons, and apply texture to that. So everything I need to do to, to all of this is press apply button. Now the process is started. Uh, it will take approximately three minutes to scan the uh, whole object 300 degree. And after that, we, uh, he will clean the scan and create the triangle mesh. And in this time, I want to show you uh, scans I previously made. So as Chris said, our scanners have multiple applications. For example, we can scan this lovely uh, snail made of clay. We acquire all the information about the color of the object. And as you can see, the results are very good. We have the uh, colorful dot over here. As you can see, somebody don't paint it very well over here and over here. We have the, all the information about the color and the geometry. So this what I'm showing now is colorful uh, triangle mesh with already made texture. And these are raw scans of the object. So this lovely snail is made from approximately three, uh, 30 million points. And another example of usage of our technology is this metal part. It's partially coated with gray, uh, gray paint, but we also have metal parts over here and over here. And as you can see on the screen, all these uh, met clean, clean metal parts are visible over here and over here, over here. I also made the STL out of it. So here we have one example of it. Here is another one. And another very important part of our software is our control tab. The control tab uh, allow us to uh, make simply quality control of our scans. We can compare uh, our results of scan object with the CAD files. We can also calculate the area of of scanned object and also when the object is closed we can calculate the volume of it which can be used for example for 3d printing uh, we can also measure the distance of two points as you can see we have green line over here with the distance of the coordination of each points and the distance in each and uh, x direction, y direction, and z direction. Uh, another important part of our software is creation of cross section. So over over here we have our cross section, and we can check check the geometry and the geometry of our object with only lines, which can be very useful. Our software also provides a module for creating a uh, colorful uh, reports of scanned object. And if I'm checking properly, uh, our part is already scanned. So as you can see, we have the whole information 360 degree of our object. And this is colorful as colorful mesh, a triangle of meshes with all the data we need, which we can easily export with multi by multiple uh, types, so we can export data from our software to uh, directly to STL if we want to print it. We can tr uh, transport it, uh, we can export it as PLI, op and PLI file, and also we can export it as OBJ, and with this option we can also export the texture of our uh, of our triangle of mesh is extremely easy. 
And I think it concludes uh, our short technical presentation. I talk about all the most important uh, features of our software. And I think we and I think we can go now for any questions for us that we will, we will be very happy to ask. Thank you guys for the presentation. Uh, as everyone could see, uh, the, the process of the scanning is, as with all of our scanners, very intuitive uh, and uh, easy, quick. Uh, it's uh, it's really hard to make any mistake from my experience. I can assure you we have a lot of options. Uh, this automatization tab that Pavel presented is very liked among our customers and partners as it speed up the process. Uh, the device, the newest device itself, as you also saw on the video and on the presentation, is very small compact uh, compact uh, housing so it will be easier to transport it to travel with it if necessary uh, to move it from place to place is also uh, very uh, well secured so uh, there is no uh, worries if you need to move it uh, that it will recalibrate or be damaged uh, so uh, a lot a lot of uh, additional options uh, with this rotary tilting table uh, you can have 360 degrees uh, scan uh, of an object, you don't have to manually turn it. So also uh, like human labor during scanning process is shortened. Uh, many options, uh, the scanner itself is uh, just like a startup a stereo scanner uh, to, uh, to start the process of uh, implementing the newest technology in the business. Uh, so uh, we are open for any questions. So we have the question, how is it easy to upload your scans into things like SOLIDWORKS or into digital twin infrastructures? Uh, from our experience, the best uh, CAD, uh, so, uh, CAD software to use this with our scanner is, uh, is Design X software because uh, of its infrastructure. Uh, SOLIDWORKS have this problem that each of a triangle uh, or each tri each triangle is uh, calculated as another surface. So with more thousands of triangles, it can easily choke on it. Uh, so we recommend as the uh, soft uh, the usage of of software is uh, Control X. Uh, although Control X is software that is uh, created for reverse engineering, so we can easily we uh, easily import. Uh, it's the STL file we created in our software. After that, we put it into ControlX, and from that, we acquire all the uh, possible uh, surfaces uh, in IGS format, and then we can export it easily to another uh, uh, CAD softwares like SolidWorks, for example. Uh, I can see also some questions. Uh, first one was about the audio for the video. Uh, so after our meeting, uh, this presentation will be available on Smart Tech YouTube page. Also, the video that you've seen on the presentation is also available there, so you can search for it. Uh, if you want, uh, you can leave your email address uh, here and we will send you directly links. We are, uh, of course, available for you also after the presentation. Uh, so let us know uh, afterwards if something will come up. Uh, regarding certification, what is standards? Uh, is the system certified? We use the VD certification. This is certification provided with the German Institute of uh, Metrology. So we use European and German uh, certification to certify our scanners as the metrology device. OK, if there is no more questions, um, thank you uh, so much, everyone, for joining us. Uh, the short presentation was an essence of 
uh, of amazing uh, possibilities that you can have now uh, with this uh, with this new compact uh, device. Uh, we are uh, very happy that we've been able to uh, to meet today with you and to uh, to talk to you. Uh, we uh, will be happy to answer all of your questions later on as well. Uh, have a nice rest of your day. Uh, thank you very much for joining again. Uh, thank you guys for helping with the presentation as well. Uh, Pavel, uh, Chris. Thank you very much for your time. Take care, everyone.